We're only a couple of days away from Santa's yearly trip around the world. He'll leave gifts under the tree and a few items in stockings. But the tradition of leaving the stockings hung on the mantle is an interesting one. Here's our Y guy. A famous poem tells us that on the night before Christmas, the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. It doesn't explain the connection between footwear, a fireplace, and Christmas. Hanging stockings on the mantle is a holiday tradition seeped in folklore, so let's look into why we do it. For the answer, we turn to James Cooper, who created the website whychristmas.com. In the fourth century, a Catholic bishop named Nicholas spread good cheer near his home in Asia Minor, an area we now know as Turkey. There are many popular legends about the generosity of Nicholas. We don't know if any of them are true, but they've been widely disseminated and enjoyed around the world. One story tells us that Nicholas met a man too poor to provide a dowry for his three daughters. Without the dowry, they couldn't get married. According to the legend, Nicholas dropped a bag of gold down the man's chimney. It landed in a stocking hung by the fire to dry. Nicholas, the bishop, became Saint Nicholas, the inspiration for Santa Claus. For many years, families would place tangerines or oranges into a child's stocking. The color of the fruit would represent the Saint Nicholas gift of gold. In some parts of the world, children were encouraged to leave their shoes out and would wake Christmas morning to find treats inside. James Cooper tells us the biggest Christmas stocking was nearly 170 feet long and 71 feet wide. It was created by a volunteer organization in Italy. To get into the Guinness Book of World Records, the group had to fill the stocking with presents. Volunteers loaded it with sweets and balloons.